Hello to all of you. Today, our topic of discussion is visual meaning. So the visual meaning refers to the process of creating a new variable by grouping the continuous values of the existing variables into a limited number of distinct categories. Basically, it converts the continuous variable into the categorical variable. In my previous video, we had seen how to recode the continuous variable into the categorical variable manually. But visual meaning can convert this automatically. Let us see how. I am going to use the data which is employee data which is available in the samples of IBM SPSS. It will be available on your system also. I want to do visual meaning of previous experience. I am quite aware that the minimum value of the previous experience is 0 and the maximum value is 476. I will request all my viewers to kindly refer my previous video to understand the flow of this lecture series. Now I want to convert this previous experience into the categories that is 0 to 100, all those employees which are into 0 to 100, 101 to 200, 200 and 1 to 300, 301 to 400. Now how can I do this? So I will go in data, sorry I will go in transform and I will go in visual buying. Meaning, I'll transfer previous experience here. Continue. Now, you can see here, it gives me a small histogram. It's a normal custom that whatever meaning we want to do, it is to be prefixed. Or rather, whatever operation which we want to carry out on a particular variable, we, we prefix that. So, B previous experience, that is a new variable which will be generated. Now, Click here, make the cut points. Now, where, where you want the first cut point location? Our experience is from 0 to 476. So, I want my first cut point at 100. How many cut points I want? 100, 200, 300, and 400. Four cut points. Now, the software has been designed in such a way that you click on number of cut points. You write the number of cut points. Just click here width. So it will automatically calculate the width of the remaining intervals. When you press apply and then press make labels, you will get the range. Now still there is another procedure. Here you can see that the classes are not uniform. I want to have a uniform classes. So again, I'll go back, make cut points. And this time I'll say 100. And the width is to be kept 100 only. We are going reverse. We are specifying the width. And I'll click on number of cut points. Apply. OK. Make labels. This serves my purpose. 0 to 100, 101 to 200. 201 to 300, 301 to 400. So you can also have included and excluded criteria activated here. Click OK. Binding specifications will create one variable. Click OK. And you can see here the coding has been done automatically. If you recall, in case of recoding, recoding to different variable. This thing we have to do manually. Now, what is the advantage of uh, doing uh, converting the continuous variable into the categorical variable? When I'll run the frequencies, I'll be able to get how many employees are there, or rather how many employees are having an experience from 0 to 100, 100 to 200, 200 to 300, 300 to 400, and 400 to 476. So for this purpose, I'll be use B, there is a bind previous experience, I'll click on charts, make sure that the bar chart is on, percentages are on, continue, click OK. And what I get is the percentages. So from 0 to 100, there are 318 employees, 101 to 284 employees, 201 to 338 employees, 3425 employees. So this is this is a way you can get the bar chart of the categorical variable. This is known as visual beaming. For more videos on SPSS, kindly subscribe to my channel. 
You can see my playlist in which I already uploaded many videos of SPSS. Don't forget to press the like button. You can also follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter.